Explorers, my cousin Guava Juice is going to a fancy dinner, but he doesn't know how to act. This is 10 things not to do in a restaurant. Oh, hey, Marmar. Hi. Hey. Since we're teaching you all the things you shouldn't do at a restaurant, we'll also be teaching you 10 things you totally should do at a restaurant. That sounds like a solid plan, Marmar, but hey, I'll take care of the don't do's and you take care of the do do's. Ooh, do do's. Nice. Let's do it. <laughs> do do's. Number one, don't talk to the host like professional wrestlers. Rah! Listen here, host. You're gonna give us a table seat. Yeah, brother. And you're gonna put us in the kitchen so we can smell what the chef is cooking. Yeah. Do talk to the host politely when you arrive. Hello, we have a reservation. Oh, it's right here. Marmar, party of two. Right this way. Your server will be right with you. Oh, thank you very much. Yes, thank you. Yeah! Woo! We did it! Great, now that we're at our table, Guava Juice, what's the next thing not to do? Number two, don't bring your own food to the restaurant. Ooh, Ooh. yummy. Mm. 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 Mm -mm. We're all good. Thank you. Mm. Oh. Do look at the menu and decide what you'd like to order. Ooh, they have souffle here. Uh, it's pronounced souffle. Oh, Mar, Mar, look, look, look. Fettuccine, they have that here too. I think you know it's pronounced fettuccine. You know what, I'm just gonna get the Mexican tacos. Are you doing this on purpose? No. You're doing this, you know it's tacos. That's what I said. What? You said tacos. I said taco. Yo, number three. Don't order your food in the form of a wrap. Oh. I want my water chilled. I want my chicken grilled. I'm gonna eat all the food till my belly's filled. Hey. Do order your food politely. I'll have the chicken salad, please. And may I please have the uh, taco? He means tacos. That's what I said. Taco. Number four, don't talk about gross things. Marmar, here are 15 things I love about stinky, slimy boogers. Gross things can ruin someone's appetite. Do have a nice conversation that's non-gross. Hey, Guava Juice, eh? I read a neat book yesterday. Oh, this conversation is nice. See, much better. Number five, don't try to find the bathroom like an old-fashioned detective. Spill it, pal. Where's the bathroom, C? We know you know, C, so don't make us call it backup, C. Guys, it's my first time at this restaurant. I don't know where it is. C? Malarkey. Double malarkey. Do politely ask a member of the staff where the restroom is. Excuse me, do you know where the restroom is? Oh yes, it's right over here by the front. Oh, thank you. Oh, great. Now that we have our food, what do we do next, Bob Juice? Number six, don't put a bunch of jello in your lap. Oh. That's actually great advice for anywhere. Do use a napkin. Uh-oh, something's wrong with Guava Juice's food. Guava Juice, what should you not do if you have a complaint? Number seven, don't complain like a professional wrestler! Yeah! Listen here, brother, these tacos are stone cold! Cold tacos are no fun, bro. These tacos need to be warmed up. Unless you want to sell us in the ring! <laughs> Do 
do politely tell your server if you have any problems with your food. Um, excuse me? Um, these tacos are a little cold. Here you go. Great! Now that we have our food, let's eat! Guava juice? Number eight. Don't eat your food like an insect. Do eat your food slowly and politely and chew with your mouth closed. Number nine, don't get up and run around and yell during your meal. Stay at your table, eat politely, and wait till everyone is finished with their meal. Hmm. Done. Now that we've finished our meal, here's what you should do. Number 10, say thank you, pay the bill, and politely leave the restaurant. And don't do all of that. Like a professional wrestler! Listen here, leftovers! Looks like it's leftover! For you! Oh, Take this! Uh, 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 what? Uh, and this! Uh, uh, and that's what we should do and definitely should not do in a restaurant. Which means we did it! Yeah! Thank you everyone for helping us because we couldn't have figured it out without you. Always glad to help, y'all. Yeah, I'm glad we learned how to act. And that you should never pour jello in your lap. <laughs> we all sort of knew that part. And of course, thank you to our super special guest, my cousin Guava Juice, for teaching us what not to do in a restaurant. No problem, Marlon. It was <laughs> nice seeing you again. Hey. I'll see you later, blah, blah, blah. Wow. Yeah. I'll see you later, Gagoosh. I'm out of here. Bye, Bye. everyone. See you later. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Was great. Huh. So why shouldn't we do some of the don't do things you saw today? Well, of course, nobody wants jello on their laps. But more importantly, we don't do certain things so that everyone can enjoy themselves. So remember, do the right thing so you don't ruin anyone else's fun. Speaking of ruining, brother, it's time for payback! Oh, Cloudy, we said we were sorry. <laughs> I'll see you next time! Oh. Ew! <laughs> uh, Hayden? I don't think socks are an ingredient on the sandwich you sent me. Oh, that's where they went. I'm sorry, Marmar. I'm not allowed to use the stove, and I'm not that good with sandwiches. That's okay, Hayden. You just need some lessons. Hooray! That's it. Explore. Let's teach Hayden how to cook with no stove. Really? Of course, Hayden. Yay! We'll get your skill level up in no time, and you'll be cooking like a pro. <laughs> but first, it sounds like we gotta go to the Marmarland cookbook. Aha! Perfect. Three at-home snacks you can make without a stove. Come on, explorers, let's get cooking! All right, explorers, let me introduce you to our first recipe, the appetizer. Snails and worms. Oh, gross. Snails and worms? Delicious. Come on, guys, Marmar's making snacks. Sorry, Mr. Fish, they're not real snails or worms. <laughs> What a bust. These little guys are what I like to call snack crafts. They're cool, but they also taste delicious. For ingredients, we have apples, 
cucumbers, celery, blueberries, tomatoes, ranch, peanut butter, and eyeball sprinkles. <laughs> so to start, we are gonna take out pre-cut celery for the base. This is going to be the bottom of the worm. Not you, worm. Go on, get. Anyways, next we have to decide if we want something sweet or salty. All right, what do you think? Ranch or peanut butter? Ooh, I want some of that peanut butter. Oh, okay. All right, peanut butter it is. So then, you're gonna take your plastic knife and spread some of the peanut butter into the celery stick, like this. Now we have to choose our toppings. Hmm, well, we use peanut butter, so we better use some of our fruit. I'm gonna go with blueberries. Lay the blueberries out on the back side of the celery stick and top it off with one grape. That'll be the head of our worm. <laughs> Lastly, you're gonna take two of your eyeball sprinkles. Take the sprinkles and dip them in the peanut butter to get them sticky. Now just place them on the grape and done! A delicious, wormy snack. Hooray! All right, Hayden, try it out. Mm. Who in the world could taste so good? Yes, it's working! Come on, Explorers, let's keep cooking! Explorers, did you know you can make pizza without baking it? And no, we're not going to be eating raw dough, but we are going to be making DIY pizza lunchables with faces. <laughs> this is going to be so delicious. Mamma mia. Mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> but wait, Marmar, why can't we just use an oven? Explorers, it's super important not to use an oven without an adult. <laughs> It may seem like it's no big deal, but ovens can be really dangerous. They can get up to over 500 degrees. That's hot enough to catch grease on fire and definitely hot enough to burn you. Let me tell you guys, burns hurt. So to avoid boo-boos, we always want an adult present when using an oven. That way we can practice safe cooking. Whoa, I see. Ovens can be really dangerous. Let's get started. All right, first up are our ingredients. You're going to need a flour tortilla, pizza sauce, mozzarella cheese, pepperoni, and a circle cookie cutter. To start, you're gonna take your tortilla and cookie cutter and cut out little circles. This is gonna be the crust of our pizza. Ah, Mr. Worm! Mm. Go, go, go on, get out of here. Once you cut your crust, you're gonna take one and we're gonna sauce it. Just pour the sauce directly into the center and spread it to the edges. What do you think is next, Explorers? That's right, cheese! Just sprinkle your mozzarella on and feel free to get real fancy with it. Ooh, cheesy goodness. <laughs> Wow, you're a full-blown Italian chef now. Yay! All right, we've come to the creme de la creme, the pepperoni. And if you don't like pepperoni, you can even do things like mushrooms or even more cheese. I'm going to use pepperoni and olives to make a smiley face. <laughs> Hooray! Hayden, what do you think of the pizza? Holy bazoli, that looks so good. Hey, my pizza. No, hey, 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 go on now. Hayden, what do you think of the pizza? Oh my goodness, Explorers, you have to try this at home. Huh, I wonder who's calling me. Hey, Marmar, I'd like to order two large cheese pizzas, one pepperoni and olive, and one pizza with just tomato sauce. Gagoosh, the pizzas aren't for sale, but you can make your own at home. Oh, well, that's good to know. I guess I don't need all these coupons. <gasps> Explorers, it looks like we only need one more thing to make Hayden a cooking pro. It's time for dessert. <laughs> oh, a little warning next time. <sighs> okay, for dessert, we're making rice cake owls. 
Mmm. It's ingredient time for rice cake owls. You'll need peanut butter, rice cakes, a banana, some blueberries, Cheerios, and a sliced apple and carrot. First, take one of your rice cakes and smear some peanut butter on it. This gives the owl its color and makes sure everything stays on. Next, we're gonna take two of our apple slices and stick them on each side of the owl, like this. Okay, time for the feathers. Well, Cheerios. Take your Cheerios and place them on the lower half of your rice cake to make them a little feather pattern. Perfect, now we're going to make banana slices and because bananas are soft, we can use our hands. Once we have two slices, we're going to place them on top of the owl here. Then plop two blueberries on top of the bananas. And look at that, eyeballs. Look at those eyeballs, ooh. Whew. These are banana eyeballs, not sprinkle eyeballs. Silly worm. All right, last thing. This little guy needs a nose. Take a chunk of carrot and place it right under the bananas. Ta-da, a perfect owl. Ah, <sighs> the perfect rice cake owl. How'd yours turn out, Hayden? Wow, mine is almost too pretty to eat. Oh. Well, almost. Ding, 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 explorers, we did it. Hayden is a cooking pro. <laughs> That's great, Hayden. Explorers, learning to make snacks by yourself is really, really cool and helps us grow into better chefs and also helps our parents. But remember, never use the oven or stove alone. And I can't wait to see your recipes. Okay, bye, Explorers. See you next time. Bye, Explorers. I'm so hungry. Can you help me make some food? Pizza, pizza, pizza. lighting up. You know what that means? The magic door's lighting up. That means someone's coming to play with us. A guest is coming. Who could it be? Who could it be? It could be any... Ah! Explorers! Hey, Explorers, how are you guys doing? Good! Good? Yeah? Hey, Peros. What? Oh. Cloudy has something for us, guys. All right, let's go find out what Cloudy wants. Okay. Hey, Cloudy. Hi, Cloudy. Hi, guys. Hi. Guess what? What? We have a new message. I think it's from Ryan. A new message? You yeah. guys are buying it. What? All right, guys, let's go see the message from Ryan. Power it up. Okay. Hey, Marmar and Explorers. I'm so hungry. Can you help me make some food? Guys, Ryan's hungry. What should we make? Sushi. Sushi? Mac and cheese. A sandwich. <gasps> a hamburger. A hamburger? I know, guys. What if we did the pizza challenge? Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, yeah I heard Ryan loves pizza, so we could probably make him a really awesome pizza and then send it to him. Do you guys have, like, a pizza dance? Pizza, pizza, pizza. Pizza, 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 pizza. All right, let's do it, guys. Are you guys ready, Explorers? Let's go. Yeah! yeah. Welcome, Explorers, to the pizza challenge. Ryan is super hungry, so we have 20 mystery ingredients to put on our delicious pizza right here. We're all gonna take turns pulling from this hat over 10 rounds, and we're gonna bake our pizza and send it to Ryan. Are you guys ready? Yeah! Yeah, okay, let's do it. Oh, wait, but first, we have to put the pizza sauce and cheese on the pizza. Who wants to help me spread the sauce? I'll be. Okay, here, wait, you guys can take turns. I'm gonna just put a, a little in the middle. There we go. Okay. Um, All right, let's, ooh, look at the juicy sauce right there. Whoa. It smells delicious. It's gonna splatter like a... There we go. Oh, wow. 
Okay. Here we go. We get it nice and saucy. Here you go. I put cheese on everything. Hayden, do you want to sprinkle some cheese on there? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I, know. I love cheese. All right, guys. Now that our base pizza is created, we're gonna add the mystery toppings. Are right, you guys ready? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go first. Okay. I'm super excited. Let's see. What do we got here? I got number twelve. Okay. Here we go. Number twelve is right here. Okay. I hope it's not oh. like two nine. I don't know. I don't know what it's gonna be. Okay. So number twelve. Here we go. Is we got many straws. Whoa. I'm gonna be sprinkling this on it. Okay, Whoa. I'm gonna save room for your guys' topping, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of this one on. All right, Hayden, it's your turn. I have to see first a lot. Oh gosh, that was bad. Okay, what number did you get? Nineteen. Nineteen. Okay. All right, go ahead, grab nineteen. Okay, what did you get? Pizza. Okay. Ooh, that actually, this smells so good. I know. So delicious. Why it so good as well? Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. You want to go? Sure, go? All right, Ayush. Mine is. Pizza. Ooh, what can we, it we be? We keep getting the teeth. Okay, go ahead. 15. Oh, this is heavy, man. Oh, this is heavy. Okay. Uh oh, it's it heavy? Like, it feels it's like heavy. a jar. It feels like a jar. Let's see what it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Salsa pizza. It smells really good. Ooh, yeah. that, it smells okay. so delicious. That looks yeah. good. That's good for you. You think that's good? Okay. All right, Glory. It's your turn. Okay. I like to put the salsa. No. Yeah. I got 17. Too heavy. Is it like medium? What, what, do, you, what do you think it is? Is it I don't know. It feels like it's in a bag. It kind of feels like more cheese. No. More cheese. What could it be? Alright guys, for round five, it's my turn. Alright. Oh, guys, we're halfway through our pizza. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Oh, Alright. Okay. <laughs> it feels it feels very light. It does? It feels light, baby. Let's see if it's more cheese. It's oh, oh, pepperoni! I love the pepperoni! These are like my favorite. Okay. Okay, we're gonna put the pepperoni on to the pizza. Here we go. Oh, it smells pizza. so good. Oh, yeah. Pepperoni. One for me. What? One for Ryan. Okay, here we go. All right, Hayden. Round six. It's your turn. Okay, got one. Two. Two. Oh, yes. yes. One, two. One, two. Oh, nice. Oh, it's very light. Very yeah? light. <laughs> it's carrot. Oh, wow. Wow. This is going to be a very healthy pizza. Yes, Carrots, very healthy. we got veggie sticks, we, we, got, got, raisins, we got fruits apples. on it. All right, Ayush, round seven. Round it is seven, your turn. Nine, okay, what will you get? I'll close my eyes for this. Go ahead, you can look now. <gasps> what? Oh my oh my God. God. That's like magic. <laughs> I swear, I don't know how we did that. I don't know, how did we do that? I don't know. What One, do two, three. I just said, I hope we get three. Magically appeared by word. Three. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's like a bag. It's a bag. Oh, yeah. Bacon! 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 Yes! Oh my gosh! Ooh, bacon. Yum. Bacon. Yummy. Yeah. Glory, what did you get? Oh, what did you get? I got seven. seven. Oh, okay. Seven. Seven. Oh, seven. Seven. Oh, it feels really light. What can it be? It feels crunchy. Like something oh. crunchy in the bag. Wait, I think it's popcorn. Really? Oh. 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 It is popcorn. Yes. 
Oh, 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 popcorn pizza. It makes me hungry. All right, explorers, we have two rounds left. Let's take an inventory of what we have on the pizza. We have popcorn, pepperoni, veggie sticks, raisins, bacon bits, and carrots. Salsa. We have some cheese, cheese. and sauce. And sauce. Oh. This is gonna be such an interesting pizza, Ryan, right? Ryan. Yeah. You think he's gonna like it? Oh uh, yeah. I think he's gonna I like it. Like what do you think would make it even better? Like what do we hope to get? More cheese. Mm. I want the chips. Chocolate chips? Oreos. Uh, Oreos? Pickles. What do you think? Pickles. Pickles? Pickles? Okay. Well, we have two rounds left and I am going on round number nine. Lori, can I see the hat? I Thank you. Gosh. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm closing my eyes. Uh-huh, I feel this one. This one I feel has very good good powers. Okay, this is gonna be a great mystery ingredient. <gasps> Number 10. Oh. Oh. oh! Here we go, I have it. Number 10. Number 10. Oh my god. This is it, guys. Number 10, it feels very light, but it's kinda hard at the same time. Okay. It feels like it could be like cereal. Tuna! Cereal. Tuna. It's like tuna. cereal. Really? It's like a box of tuna. Ah. Of tuna. Okay, here we go. Tuna. Oh, oh, goldfish! Oh, my God. You love goldfish? Gold. Okay, I'm putting some goldfish on. I said cheese, and this is cheddar. Yeah, like, so, and that's like cheese. Yeah. cheddar cheese. So we got our yeah. wish. Yeah. 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 <laughs> this is the final round, dun, explorers. Dun, this is dun, the dun, final dun. mystery ingredient. Okay. We're going to draw it. Here you go. One. Here you go. I don't know what she's gonna get. What is she gonna get? Oh, like probably. Uh, oh. Twice! Twice! Oh my oh my God. God. Very light. Very light. It's kind of squishy. It's actually hard. <laughs> what? It's hard. like weird. It's okay. Like tomato. <laughs> oh, wow. It's like we're getting more sauce. sauce. Yeah, we're getting more sauce. Wow. More tomato. <laughs> right in the center. Pizza. Nice. Fun well, that's the There's end of the pizza. pizza. Yeah, this is our pizza. Can we, can we say what the final thing is? Tomatoes, carrots, popcorn, goldfish, veggie sticks, apples, pepperoni, bacon bits, raisins, and what else? Salsa. 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 Cheese. 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 Sauce. And dough. All right, explorers, we're about to put this in the oven and send it to Ryan. But before we do that, what should we call this pizza? I know what to do it. The veggie snack combo pizza. Ooh. How about the, the snack veggie fruit pizza? Ooh, okay. What about the Marmar Land pizza? <laughs> the Marmar Land special pizza? Uh, yeah. yeah. All right, well, we'll send this to Ryan as the Marmar Land special and make sure he, let's see if he likes it. I don't know. Yeah. All right, Explorer, so now we're gonna put this in the oven. And Ryan, if you're watching this, we're gonna send this to you. Sure. Hey, Cloudy. Hi, Marmar. Hi, Explorers. Hi. Hi. Hey, so we just baked a pizza for Ryan. Can you bring it to him? Yeah, absolutely. Awesome, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, bye. 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 Thanks, Marmar and Explorers. It's delicious. Thanks for making me food. Thank you. Explorers, I am so glad we could help Ryan. He was hungry today and we made him a delicious pizza, which he enjoyed. And so if you could ever help anybody, whether it's opening the door or helping them find their pet cat, you should do it because helping people is awesome. So thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time, Explorers. Bye! <laughs> All right, it's time for the bat hair. Woo! <gasps> oh man, I'm gonna need a little more help than I thought. I'm trying to transform boring snacks into spoon snacks. Happy Halloween! Oh, hey Hayden. <laughs> Whoa, what happened here? That sounds like a job for... Witch Hayden. <laughs> Ooh, this is gonna be spectacular. Come on, explorers, let's go. <laughs> Pretzel sticks. <laughs> Boring. We're making pretzel spiderwebs. <laughs> so what do you need? Pretzel sticks. Candy melts. To start, you're going to lay down some wax paper on a baking sheet. This will make it easier to take the spider webs off. 
Then you're gonna lay down your pretzel sticks in a snowflake-like pattern. Now it's time for candy melts. Now explorers, make sure you have an adult help you with this part. We have to microwave the candy melts. Now pour your candy melts into a Ziploc bag. Now snip a little hole and pour in a spiral pattern. Finally, just let them cool and booyah! Pretzel spider webs. So for boo bananas, you'll need bananas, vanilla yogurt, popsicle sticks, and chocolate chips. The first thing you'll need is another baking tray and wax paper. This is so the bananas don't stick when we freeze them. Next, we are going to peel our bananas and split them in half. Hey, didn't I have four? Boop. Well, I guess we're gonna do three bananas. Next, we're going to take our popsicle stick and plop it inside the banana. Now, we take our yogurt and we are going to dip the bananas in. Perfect! Now for the eyes. Take two chocolate chips and place them on the bananas. Finally, we freeze them. And now, we wait. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Marmar tube! Explorers, you shouldn't be watching scary movies, especially not Abominable Snowman Revenge 3! Okay, don't come complaining to me when you can't sleep tonight! Explorers, run! It's a Yeti! <laughs> Bubbles, that wasn't nice! You scared your friends! No more pranks, Bubbles. Ah, this time it's for real! Run! <laughs> Bubbles, not funny! If you keep this up, no one's gonna believe you if there's a real Yeti! I know Yetis aren't real, I'm just saying. Ah! <laughs> 
not this time, Bubbles. You're not fooling us again. Marmar, -mar. that wasn't nice. <laughs> but it sure was funny. Serves him right. I mean, who believes in Yetis anyway? Explorers, our bananas are ready. For the creme de la creme, Marmar. Rice Krispy Treat Monsters. Ooh. You'll need Rice Krispy Treat, Candy Melt, and Eyeball Sprinkles. To begin, you'll want to make sure to have a piece of wax paper to put the Rice Krispies on. Then, we are going to unwrap all of our Rice Krispies. We melt our candy melt. And explorers, make sure to have an adult do this part for you. When you microwave candy melt, the bowl can get really hot. Excellent, now we dip. Take one of your Rice Krispies and dip the top part into the candy melt color of your choice. I'm going to do green. Now for the fun part, eyeballs. Take your eyeball sprinkles and monsterfy those Rice Krispies. Soon. 